Hey guys, I'm back with a video showing you one of my favorite protective hairstyles. So a lot of you have been asking, what do I do on a daily basis? How do I keep my hair protected? And how do I wear my hair basically during the summer? So this is one of my favorite hairstyles that I like to do. And this is in a little mohawk. And I like this hairstyle because it is very versatile. I can wear it in a ponytail, like so, or even in a high bun, like so. So, I really love this hairstyle. It's very easy. It is easy to maintain. Like I said, very versatile. And I love it. So, if you want to see how I achieve this hairstyle, continue to watch also check out my latest video on how i blow dry my hair because this is on blow dried hair so if you haven't watched that video check that out so stay tuned for the next clip so i'm starting off with freshly washed deep conditioned blow dried hair and i'm going to section my hair into two sections the front half and the back half So once I have the top section put away, I'm going to focus on the back and I'm going to divide that into another section and then put one side away and then focus on one side at a time. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to start with horizontal parts. Now your parts don't have to be as big as mine, they could be smaller depending on how long you want your hair to last or if you just want a twig style. But I want to do mine's medium and then I'm going to add my products to my hair and start braiding. I'm going to use the main choice growth oil on my scalp. And then I'm going to use the main choice nothing gets much better than this on the length of my hair now i've been using these two products combined for at least almost three months and i'm just using these products to kind of use them up now but so far i have seen my hair is growing i'm not sure if it is because of these two products but i must say that my hair is not breaking and it's not shedding as much as it normally would be so I'm just going to braid my hair, I'm going to form on my hair horizontally and then I'm going to braid the length of my hair and then once I get to the very end, I'm going to add some more products to my hair and then twist the ends of my hair. I do not braid my hair all the way to the ends because I've noticed that I get so many knots and tangles when I braid my hair to the end. So twisting my hair, it doesn't put as much pressure or stress onto the ends. It just, you know, it's so much more easier to unravel and so much more manageable and I don't have any breakage or anything like that when I twist my hair. So this is how my hair is looking so far and I believe I did six braids on each side of my hair. The other side is fairly easy. I just kind of follow the comb with the parses and try to make it as even as possible. But once again, you don't have to do your parts really, really even or straight because the top half of your hair is going to cover the bottom. So this is how my hair looks in the back, completely finished, and as you can see, my parts are not straight, but it will get covered. So I'm just going to start off with the front, and I like to part my hair going into an upward motion so that the length of my hair can fall and cover the parts that's in the back. 
So you'll see I'm going into the upward motion, not a straight back, but kind of a diagonal slant on the sides of my hair. And then the middle, I kind of just freestyled as you'll see later on in the video. But the most important part is to make sure that the sides of your hair are going into a upward diagonal V shape part. One thing I must say guys, I am not heavy handed, I don't care how tight these braids look, they are not. I do not believe in braiding super tight to pull out edges and to break hair off. This is just a protective style for the summer, not a style that is going to rip out my hair or anything like that. So I just wanted to really come to you and just say that you do not have to braid your hair tight for it to look a certain way because like I said my hair is not tight I am not heavy handed especially with myself I am very tender headed so I do not braid tight at all I believe in keeping them edges laid but it don't have to be snatched to the point of no return okay So you'll see on each side I am still going into the diagonal motion because I wanted to lay and fall a certain way. So on the sides I believe I had three braids on each side that went diagonal but once I got into the middle my part started to go a little curvy just so I didn't have really straight back hair I still wanted some type of style to it, some type of girly look so instead of just having the boyish straight back I just start curving my hair and making it look a little girly so once you get to the middle you can definitely freestyle but the most important part is the sides because the sides allow you to put your hair in a ponytail, put your hair in a bun, put your hair just any type of style but if it was going in a straight motion then you couldn't really do that so definitely the sides are the foundation.
So the rest of this video is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just starting to braid in a pattern, something cute, something that I thought would just be different and look cute on me. So um, just kind of braiding freestyle right now. But I am still twisting each braid to the ends. I am not braiding my hair and I am also applying more products to the ends of my hair because as everyone knows they are the oldest, they are the driest, these are the ends that get rubbed up against your clothes, rubbed up against car seats, rubbed up against jackets and sweaters so you definitely want to make sure that you add as much moisture to your ends as possible. And I do moisturize and seal my braids every two to three days depending on how the ends of my hair look. So just because it's in a protective style doesn't mean you are not supposed to still moisturize and seal your hair because you really really do you really really need to take care of your hair whether it's out whether it's in a wash to go whether it's a braid out or whether it's a protective style you still need to moisturize and seal your hair So voila, these are the finished braids and as you can see my parts are covered, which is the most important part. Covered parts. I hope you enjoy and I hope you do try this hairstyle. This is one of my favorite hairstyles for the summer. I could just get up and go. I don't have to worry about anything and it lasts so long, at least for two to three weeks, depending on how I maintain my hair. So as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. Until next time.